I'm breaking the stream right here to, uh, like, stopping it, and I'm going to start it again to cut out all the waiting, basically. <clears throat> okay. All right. Taking me a while to load. Yeah, me too. But it's because they um like because we're gonna have to be on a delay. We have to wait oh, for them so to waiting. Yeah. It's like you can't watch you can't watch their loading. See like now it works for me. I loaded it in. Go. Yeah. So you see how there's zero people loaded in? Yeah. yeah. They're actually all loaded in, but we have to wait. So Okay. Fog both teams. Oh shoot, I should have looked up the commands again. Whatever. I should also pick my stuff. I'll use the default announcer. That's probably the best thing to do. I haven't heard the default announcer forever though. Alright, the draft. Looks like Pivotal is the name of the company. Pivotal? Yeah, it's Pivotal Toronto. Okay, Pivotal versus Facebook. Kahadal Network. Yep. Okay, first bands for Pivotal is uh, Faceless Void. That's pretty standard. Um, he's a good initiator, he's a good carry, he's got everything early game, mid game, late game. Death Prophet can be really annoying to play against with uh, her insane pushing ability, her ability to make sure that you can't team fight when you want to if she has exorcism up, uh, her AoE silence. Brewmaster is kind of the same jam. He is really good to force you to disengage. He pops his ult. You can't stop them from pushing a tower. What do you think about the Omni Knight ban? So, so I think Omni Knight definitely a uh, good hero to ban, but it makes you. I mean, it's not one of those most common banned. Maybe maybe now in the meta game, but um, I wonder if Pivotal is trying to set up a certain lineup. Having banned Omni so early. Mm -hmm. um, first pick Jakiro for Cottle Network. Uh, what do you think they'll play him as a core or a support? Last time they played him as a support, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they played him as support again. Also, since it's the first pick. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Support first picks are probably the safest. Alright. Timbersaw picked for but Pivotal. Um, that's going to limit the amount of strength heroes and melee heroes the Cotton Network's going to want to pick, and they're going to want to pick a lot of disables and silences if they can. Um, from what from the other so. the other uh, HDL matches I watched, a lot of people use the uh, reverse priority picking order style, where you pick your five first, and then you work your way up to your one. Um, so Cotton Network could be doing that again. Pivotal doesn't look like it because it looks like they pick, up, pick their offlaner first. Yeah, I wonder if they picked them really quickly because um, if they did research, they knew that the Cuddle Network has experience playing Timber. That's true. The replays are available, so they might have done some 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 uh, film study. And then it makes some sense having the Omni Band and then going straight into the Timber. Yeah, that makes sense. I agree. But yeah, I think I think the Cuddle Network is going for that least priority pick. Hmm, we'll see. Although, yeah, it looks like it's Pivotal's turn again. All right. I saw a game where they played Jukiro, and the Jukiro did do a lot of work. Yes. So Witch Doctor... That's a, that's always a good pick. He pretty much fits into any lineup. Um, yeah, I think very solid, safe support. Yeah. Um, it makes me wonder if they're going to try to go for, like, a Medusa. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, his his uh, his alt works really well with her alt. Yeah, just trying to set up some synergy. The the faceless is already banned, so yeah, they can't do that. Yeah, I wonder if they could have 
pick the classic Void Witch Doctor combo. But you know, you're right, I never thought about Witch Doctor working well with Medusa. Because her ult makes the enemy's magic immune, but they take extra physical damage, and his ult is physical. So yeah, so... Ooh. Hmm. Now I love to see the Silencer pick, because Silencer's just a monster. Um, yeah, I think Silencer was a good pick already. Yeah, you definitely. He's also very often banned, uh, so it is good that they picked him up early. So do you think he is going to be played as a more... Like a 4? Like a 4? I don't know. Um, when I draft and I pick Silencer, I pick him early for flex reasons, because he can fit in anywhere but the offlane, basically. So it he could be they could be planning to use him as a four or they could be using him as a like um, as a flex option like oh, based on what else they pick they can use him you know wherever. Yeah, it's actually very interesting both here as a the cut on network pick both are very very flexible amongst various roles that's true um, that could be coincidence and it could also be that they're trying to outdraft their opponents right away which would be smart. Um, but there are also two I heroes see. that are, of course, very popular right now. So, Definitely. the Night Stalker ban. Um, Night Stalker has seen a lot of play, at least recently. Kato Network got kind of messed up by him last week, I remember. So, that's a sensible ban, I guess. Um, he's also kind of like, he was out of favor for a very long time until, uh, until the latest patch where he got a big buff. So, I feel like a lot of teams don't really know how to deal with that. They don't know what kind of synergies you can pull out of your you can pull out to use with him and stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely agree. Me personally, I have a it's such a annoyance when you play against them just from the lack of vision the wards get yeah. due to his the the, the vision the vision on the wards is huge. It gives him so much space and it reduces all the space for the other team. Uh, the Juggernaut ban is pretty standard also recently. He's kind of a pub pub terror right now. Um, he's really hard to lock down. Omni Slash makes him invulnerable for a long time. He has lots of different synergies and item builds he can go, so he's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised about the Puck ban, though. I wonder who they want to put mid. Yeah. So... I'm, I'm thinking they banned him just because they're trying to set up their mid to have a favorable matchup. Um, right. But that's that's the is, only real reason I could think of. Yeah. But even like, Puck I think is very very good, very solid mid. But I don't think Puck necessarily hard counters any mid as as hard as some other mid players, uh, mid heroes. Right. That's why I uh, you know I was wondering. Um, I'm trying to remember who... Oh, shoot. Hold on just a second. I accidentally killed Andrew. Five seconds remaining. Uh... Hey, sorry. I accidentally uh, closed Chrome, but I forgot that it would close. <laughs> Plus... Yeah, I'm trying to remember my matchups with Puck, who she's really good against to explain that, but I don't know. Um, the troll ban, that's kind of interesting. Trolls, I mean, they have a Jakiro, and troll can be really pushy. That attack speed, global attack speed aura is huge. Yeah, so I think trolls actually been getting a lot of favor very recently um, mm. as a hero, just because he's another one of those heroes, I think, that's pretty solid... Um, during every part of the game and is very good at laning. He can do a quick rush. Well, like, uh... Yeah, that's true. Quick solo rush compared to some other heroes. That's yeah. true. Um, the Viper ban seems pretty standard. You think it's a mid-Viper? Um, yeah, I would... I would have to... I guess it's going to be a mid viper because looking at the lineup already, it's. I would personally just immediately think of the timber going off lane. Okay. And the yeah. viper has never really played as a one, so. Okay, there we go. Um, so they picked Tidehunter. That's good. I mean, that of their off lane are very likely. Yeah, so, so far... Oh, Raid King. Interesting. 
Oh, that is interesting. So that Chikira is most likely support then. Um, just because the Tide yes. Hunter is very, very certainly going to be the off lane. That's good. I like to see Tide Hunter. Um, Ravage is just so good. Full screen disable. It's really yeah. good. I think the Wraith King pick was good. Um, against like a Silencer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, if the Wraith King starts a fight, hopefully he can bait out the Silence really early. And um, he'll still be survived. He'll still be up. Or his, op his ult will be popped and he'll still be able to fight once the silence is down and the rest of his team can come in. That's true. Although the silence, silence on Wraith King is not the biggest deal. He only has one spell. But, uh, I mean, it's a good spell. Anti-Mage pick, that's yeah, so, that's good against Wraith King. That's easy. Like, Yeah. It's good against Timbersaw, too, even. So, I'm trying to figure out who Cloud Network's going to put mid. They have a lot of options. Um... I don't know, I mean, it's hard to pick into if, like, after Viper's been picked, because there's not really, like, they could pick a Razor, he's on the table still. Or, like, Shadow Fiend, yeah. maybe, but I don't think they'll pick a Shadow Fiend against Viper. So, last so round I would like, here. Hmm? I would like the Cuddle Network to pick up some, some mid that has, or another hero that has a, a bit of control. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ice Path is really good, but it's not reliable. Right. Not super reliable, and then besides that, they only have the Ravage. That's true. That's true. So who are and some I, who are some mids that have good control? I mean, I'm I would say Puck honestly, but they have Banter. <laughs> yeah, Puck would actually be good. Um, okay, so I don't really feel the Necro man. Um, they have. I guess Necro can play mid, so that's not like crazy. But I don't know if they would pick a, a Necro against that lineup anyway. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. I don't think the Cuddle Network was thinking going to grow. But... Yeah, I don't. I don't <laughs> see that. But who knows? Who knows? It could be. It could be good against whoever Pivotal wants to pick. Like maybe they want to pick like, I don't know, Morphling or another Uber Carry. You really don't want Necro to disable for you know, your entire death duration. Um. Slark. Slark. That's another pub tear people have a lot of trouble with. He's also really hard to lock down, especially with their current lineup. They do have a silencer, but uh, I'm actually not sure. Do you know if Dark Pact can dis can uh, remove the silencer debuffs? I am actually not sure, but <clears throat> I'm surprised with the Slark ban just because I don't think Pivotal would be trying to go for any type of core oriented hero as their last pick. Last Do you pick. think? Okay, because I was thinking it could be a, a, um, a support Wraith King. They pick him as like an initiator. That's very true. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, so that's what it was then. So they picked a life stealer. Unless it's a jungle life stealer, but I don't I really don't think they're gonna do that. Um, I'm actually really surprised to see the life stealer. Yeah, I think that's a very That's an interesting pick. You don't seem too often. He does have Rage, which against their team is probably really good. It's not a whole lot of... They have, like, no BKB piercing except for Silence Result. And... Okay, the Wind Ranger pick. That'll be, uh... Yeah, that's a non-animal. He's gonna go mid with that. Um, so we're probably gonna see Viper versus Wind Ranger mid. Yeah. Okay, that's a... I think Wind Ranger can do pretty well there. I know um, a non-animal is really yeah, good Yeah, I think it's that. a very... I think it's a pretty equal matchup. Hmm. As long as, uh, yeah, as long as she doesn't do too many power shots into Corrosive Skin. But really, really curious about the Life Sealer pick. I'd love to see how that will work out. Oh, right. Yeah, so it still, it still doesn't reveal how they're going to do it. Um, yeah. They could jungle him and just play an extremely greedy lineup. <clears throat> um, so I'll introduce Radiant. You can do Dire. So it looks like we have Razor Flash on the Life Sealer, um, starting with the Quelling Blade. So, uh, and a stat shield. Oh, uh, looks like the whole team is gonna go try to contest a rune here. Um, Neutronics on Viper, going early Wraith Band, it looks like. Um, Wraith King, yeah, support Wraith King, as we know. Um, Chrono Set is gonna play him, and we have SC Mag, C Mag on Witch Doctor, who picked up a circlet early. 
I like to see the um, <laughs> be gentle. The good <coughs> manner is coming out. All right, so if you want to do radiant. All right, so for radiant we have the cut on hour. We have aviator on Jakiro. Um, I don't know if you played him before, but uh, definitely a solid pick. They're they're going top lane, so it'll definitely be a tri lane with mm. the enemy mage. Okay. We have smash 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 on silencer. <laughs> As uh, the other support, so Jakiro and Silencer playing the four and five role. Mib on Tide Hunter off lane. Okay. He got his early war down. Good, good, okay. Didn't block the camp though. Did for, yeah, didn't block the camp. Um, that's okay. And on Animal mid yeah. on Wind Ranger. Doing some blocking right now. Yeah, he'll definitely win that actually block. Very good block right? Viper was not able to block what with all the rune contesting going on. Uh, I actually managed to suck and miss. I missed all the rune stuff. So what happened? Do you know? Check the log. Looks like Viper and Jakira got the bounties. So one for each. Yes. All right. So, oh, oops. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Stats. And we also have Fish MD on Annie Mage as the number one role. Right. Oh, it looks like Timbersaw is being gone on here already. Pretty wow. close. They almost killed him, but uh, not quite. Yeah. Silencer did take a lot of damage for that, but he'll heal right back up. So it's definitely... So they're actually... Um, Pivotal is running a tri-lane bottom. Um, mm, okay. you know, still, it's, it is definitely a support right thing. Right, yeah. I mean, he, have, he bought wards and everything. But uh, it'll be interesting how this lane with the lifestealer works out. Mm -hmm. So right now I think both teams are laning correctly for their lineups. Yeah, I agree with these for the most part. Um, Wraith King's kind of... Melee heroes are kind of hard to have uh, support in tri-lane. There's not a lot of zoning you can do, but it's... Uh, I mean, he's good to have around for that stun, of course, and trading hits, I guess, with the Tide Hunter. Probably won't work out too well for him. But the, we're having a Witch Doctor in lane just makes everything so hard because you never know when you're going to get like quadruple cask bounced or anything. Opting to go second level into Maledict there. Um, and the which is uh, I like to go one I like to go one on one and then mass cask. But um, you definitely I definitely it's definitely value to have at least one point in it just for you know those escapes you can cover. Wraith King. Uh, got Vampiric Aura, so that'll be some life seal to help out the team. I guess they have a lot of life seal here with Wraith King and Life Sealer both in lane. Yeah, with the with the level two pickup on Maledict, I'm hoping to see um, maybe them trying to roam, set up some gil kills and ganks. That's true. It's much more offense oriented uh, than heal would be. But they either way, they have a ton of sustain in that lane between two different types of lifesteal in the heal if he ever picks it up, which is pretty crazy. A lifestealer has finished his boots. Um, on the other side of things, um, Anti-Mage is leading in creep kills right now, so he'll be farming the way he's supposed to, which yeah, is Yeah, so how the lanes are going right now, Coddle Network is definitely in the lead. Um, I would think so, yeah. Timbersaw is having a Timbersaw's having a really rough time. It looks like he seems like he's constantly at low health. And... Yeah, so I think the silencer pick against him is just doing really, a lot of work. Yeah, really good. Definitely really good pick against him. Wind Ranger picks up a bottle. She has her null talisman finished. Uh, Viper here. Oh, uh, Viper has bottle and yeah, is finishing the wraith man now. Skill builds. Everything seems pretty standard here. Two levels in power shot. Get some farm there. Oh, yeah. Timbersaw's really not having a fun time with the. Uh, disarms himself as well. Against that tri lane. Yeah. yeah. Silencer pickup was really good. And he still has another clarity left. Oh, but Silencer. Good ice path here. Oh, they got ice path off. This might be the Hold end. Up. This no. should be first. Oh, okay. Timbersaw gets away. Not but... quite. Nothing they didn't want to dive well in. For him in this lane up here. Yeah, he's really not. He actually has only four last hits, but he is level four, so he's doing what he needs to be doing. So, yeah. 
it can survive, it is a very difficult try lane right. to be against. The, uh... What are your thoughts about this ward, um, Top River? I'm actually not a huge fan of that ward placement. The Ubercliff here? I, I can't yeah. ping it because we're not... Uh, I don't know, I use this spot. I think it's pretty good if you're on Dire, because it gives vision of, like, I don't know, more of their side. But I guess it actually doesn't cover the Secret Shop at all, so... Maybe it's not the best ward. It gives you rune vision and, and protects your jungle a little bit, but... Okay, so they're going oh. on an on animal, but he'll he'll pop Windrun here. He might not be able to get away from this if, if he can have one stun. Oh, yeah, it looks so like he'll be first blood. Work. That's first blood. First blood pivotal. Good job, pivotal. Good job. Um, and they definitely needed to do something because uh, just the way the lanes were going, the pivotal was kind yeah. of just losing just the farming. I suppose. Although, if you look at the last hit counts, it's actually somewhat. It's actually very even. Um, even their off laners are out. only two apart. Yeah, it's evening out now. But uh, I don't know. So, where would you rather have them put this this ward? Going back to that ward. This ward, um, and that's compared to other ward wards around. The spot and it shows you see a lot of the river, which I feel like is not... yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's a little overkill, maybe. Where you can tell if there's a gank coming. Yeah, but you also get vision of like other things. Okay, fair. So they really like. Um, Radiant is good if you want to be defensive, but Dire, I really... Um, it just makes it really easy for the mid. It gives a lot of vision for mid. That's true. Um, makes sense. A lot. Yeah, I like the Ancient Ward a lot here, too, but that's like... Yeah, I mean, you're right. It's really defensive from Radiant. So I wonder if I try this. No, what? they're roaming. Okay. So yeah. Wraith King is just kind of roaming back and forth between right and bottom. Maybe he's trying to set up another kill. Maybe. I kind of like to see that from uh, from a Wraith King, because I feel like, like I said, him sitting in lane does not give him a whole lot. It is important that he gets level 6. Well, not really even. His level 6 cooldown is so absurdly long. It's... Okay, so... Yeah, but I think that is good, because... Yeah, it's good. It's good for... He Radiant. wasn't doing much in the lane. Also, with the advantage... Uh... <laughs> This light steel is tri lane had. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, he's 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 level five already. Um, life stealer. So he's pretty close behind the t the t the mm, tide hunter. Um, mm -hmm. even though he's the solo. And his farm is pretty decent. This con uh, things considering. Yeah, the Wraith King's kind of standing there. Yeah. I'm not sure what's happening. He needs to disconnect. No, he's walking. All right, he wanted to smoke, but he oh, yeah he took a smoke? he took a long time to do anything there, and he also smoked under a ward. Well, actually no, he wasn't in ward vision there, but we'll see. I think hopefully. It's not a ward. He's going up for a kill here. Yeah. Oh, he's turning around. Maybe he's thinking pop. He's maybe thinking of going on a silencer. Maybe stealing the. Oh yeah, that's actually very. Uh, oh no, sounds like he's trying to yeah, get That's uh. You're going on a silencer. They didn't. They didn't know the Wraith King was there, so this looks like yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah. That's another kill for Dire. Kill. Um, Raytheon is doing a lot of work, although it's... Yeah, he took a long time to set that up, but it, it worked out for them. Yeah. Although I don't think it's... Uh, Which Doctor Ops for... going completely bad, bad for... Bracer before Boots. Yeah, it's not, Coddle it's not. Network. I think Coddle Network is doing fine there. They don't have any kills yet, but they're farming up. Like, uh, Anti-Mage has... Almost 50 last hits already at, at almost 9 minutes, which is pretty good. Pretty good farm. Um, he's definitely in the lead there, and he's doing what he needs to do. He's got his uh, Ring of Health finish, so he's going Battle Fury um, as soon as possible. Claymores are also done. Looks like they're going on Tidehunter bottom. I don't yeah, know if they'll be able that... to kill him. No, yeah. Yeah, looks like they will not. Fine. I think the, the tri lane for the Coddle Network is going really well. Um... Yeah, they're they're in the jungle. Tower damage and stuff. 
Anime is getting a really good farm. Oh, Wraith King's coming top. Maybe try to. They really need to do something with this, to this enemy. I don't think they'll be able to kill the enemy mage though. He has two levels of blink. Um, as, unless they wait for him to use it and then they go on him, but I, I don't think a Wraith King and a Timbersaw can kill him. They might be able to kill one of the supports if they can catch them out. And it looks like they're trying to do just that, hiding in the woods here. I don't think they've been able to see the Wraith King yet. Yeah, I don't think they know he's here. Yeah, but they but can definitely. He'll back up now, fight. anyway. I think they saw him now. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they know he's here now. Yeah, here they go. Here he goes. Oh, they're going? They are. Yeah, they're but not going really to really kill him. He'll just he'll get out of here. Good, I saw on the timber. Yeah, that was quite good. He actually might. No, he almost died there, but not quite. They just can't seem to kill him, which is pretty normal because he's really slippery, but. Yeah, Timber's doing a good job surviving, although... I'm actually very impressed with his survivability here. Yeah, but Kano has been shutting him down really hard. That's true. But he is level 7, so he's he's also doing what he needs to do. Now he has to go back, though, because he's out of everything. And he's not very farmed. Meanwhile, uh, looks like Pivotal got a kill on the Tidehunter. Oh, they managed uh, to finish up the Tidehunter. I didn't see that. He did finish his Arcane Boots, though. Often he got Arcane Boots before Blink, which is pretty normal, so... It looks like he committed Ravage to try to get out, but I guess it didn't help. Yeah. I... Silencer buys I'm more smokes. That game. Yeah, I told him that we're focused on top, I guess. Silencer buys more, um, buys some smokes here, so he wants some too. So I actually don't think going Arcane Boots before Blaine on Tidehunter was the right choice. This was game. the right choice? Okay. Um, I personally think that just because with the draft, it's Ooh. pretty. Miss Shackle bottom. They won't be able to kill a life stealer here. Let's see how it gets out. And Ravage is on cooldown still, so... Viper's free farming mid lane then. He has a point booster already, so he's going early Augs, or he's either... He might be casual point booster while he finishes some other stuff. Opted to go for treads too, and not face boots. Important to note. Uh-oh. Anti-Mage might actually be some trouble here. Yeah. Oh, there's the Witch Doctor ult to kill Takira. Witch Doctor's ult? Silencer's gonna die too. Anti-Mage needs to get out. He's not gonna be able to save anybody. Oh, Silencer, so actually... All comes out. Silencer needs to get out of there. They're trying to trade. Oh, uh -oh no. This isn't good. A lot of committed Timbersaw gets. Yeah, they definitely, definitely stayed way too long there. Although, uh, it looks like Wind Ranger is going to be able to clean up the... if she can get. Oh, she oh, misses her no. one shot. Okay. Very clutch paralyzing cast from the Witch Doctor. Yeah, just messed everything up there. Wind Ranger missing her power shot. That was really. And then, of course, the regen rune at the perfect time. There, so Timber's going to be able to get out. Yeah. Secure to Smith. That's really unfortunate for uh, Radiant. That was a, that was a lot of. They there was no reason for Anti Mage to stay there. He should have definitely got out. Uh, he couldn't save anybody. He doesn't have any stuns. So. Yeah. So I think. Huge um, play. Just because it's Timbersaw, it'd be way too it was way too hard to turn that fight. Yeah. Oh. Wow. He just took half his damage there by getting Whirling Death next to a tree. Don't say so again. They shouldn't her, fight this. I don't know if they'll be able to take this. Fight. Yeah, I mean they're gonna they're gonna die here because of Jukero all comes out. Timbersaw's chasing the Jukero. Timbersaw probably gonna get the kill. I don't think Ravage is up. Ravage is up now, but oh, because they managed to kill Timbersaw. That's a good. I, that's I'm actually really impressed that they managed to do Smoke that. Smoke comes out. They want to get more from this. That's true, but they won't be able to. Um, good TPing from because they Tide walked Hunter. up to the tower. Yeah. It's good. It's good to see that the reaction for the tide runner there really helped a lot. Even just presence, um, and of course everybody else keeping there. Maybe overkill, but uh, yeah, so better than not. Good. They're not still smoked, so they're gonna go on this swipe right here. Yeah, they are. Out comes out the gun. They're not gonna do anything. Nope, they, can't, they can't. They can't, can't do anymore. anything. So and he may just like perseverance is done. What do you think Life Stealer is building right now? He has a mithril hammer. Oh, he's going Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Yeah. Jakiro. Oh, no. Anti Mage died, and Jakiro's going down here again, too. That is rough. He's so close to his Battle Fury, too. Or he was. Really unfortunate. Uh, all comes out from the Witch Doctor. Yeah, she can evade all of it, so she'll be okay. But. Uh, Very surprising that Silencer did not try to. Get more out of that. Although I don't think he could chase. Probably... He doesn't. Yeah, he's really poor. 
Yeah, it was actually probably the better call since uh, yeah. there was there was two reinforcements from the radiant side coming. Mm -hmm. Um, I think Witch Doctor is building drums, which is interesting. But I guess uh, with Wraith King is hard fighting. Uh, that said, he has a lot of money. I mean, he's obviously saving up for a blink, but um, he also opted to get his uh, his alt right away at level six, which is not a bad thing necessarily. But it's something a lot of people skip because if you die with your alt skilled and you won't be able to escape after reincarnating, then you kind of waste the 260 second cooldown. So sometimes people save it right before they die in a situation they know they can escape from or. You know. Yeah. So Witch Doctor comes bottom and uh Shakira and Tide are staying here. They are, so you have Um Shakira's also pretty poor. Stun comes out from the Wraith King onto the Shakira. There's no way Tide they're getting a lot here. He still has Ravage, yeah, which he's gonna out. use Tide here. Comes out. Ravage comes out, none of it get hits the life stealer though because he popped his uh, Yeah. They I killed the Wraith here. King, but he has his ultimate, so actually reinforcements coming out for Tidehunter goes down, but they, they kill the Lifestealer. So, so far, this is a good trade, uh, as long as they don't feed any more here. Yeah, so that was a good trade. A really good TP from um, Windranger there to secure the kill on the Lifestealer and to make everyone else back off. Yes, that was a good TP from the Windranger. Meanwhile, top tower is in danger of going down. The Wraith King comes to defend. Um, Viper's been kind of unanswered here with his farm. He's not super farmed or anything like that, but he's just been left alone in lane. Now we'll rotate top to uh, to try to do some damage here. Oh, the blink, the really good blink to disjoint that will save his life. Although he needs to leave. Timbersaw cleans up um, Takiro bottom by diving the tower there with his chain. And now there's four top pushing this tower. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh... Uh, Windranger's focus firing mid-tower here, so that'll go down too, because... I think so. They'll trade a tier 1 for a tier 1 here. Sun comes out on the silencer. They They're not going to follow. They didn't deny or, or glyph it there, so that's a free tower. And yeah, they managed to successfully defend top two. So that was a good overall. That was a good trade for... Uh, for Team Radio, I think, feeding the just the Jakiro over and across the whole map for two towers actually, because they also got tier one top. But it looks like something's happening in the jungle. Ooh. Meanwhile, bottom tower is also getting pressured pretty hard. So their Jakiro pick and the Wind Ranger pick are. Doing a lot of help here with their pushing ability. Macrofire comes out just to kill the whole group wave. They won't be able to get it, and they might actually die. No, no, I think they'll be okay. Uh oh. Cask comes that's out. A, that's a dirty cask. Yeah. All comes out from the Western here, too, so yeah. securing the kill on the Chikiro. Yeah, Chikiro is dead here. But meanwhile, um. What? Yeah, Silencer killed Viper at the same time, which is pretty impressive. I mean, Winner's there, but. Oh, she wants more here on the life stealer. Almost. If she can get one more shot off, this will be very worth it. And she does. So that's a life stealer kill too. The very good pick off. That was really good. Yeah, they're really turning around the momentum here. If we take a look at the graphs, um, there's definitely a dip. If I waited a couple more seconds, but uh, Cottle Network is winning in in net worth, and they're they're dipping hard back down towards XP earned too. They did just lose their tower though. And yeah, Witch Doctor finishes his drums. Lifesteal also finished his Maelstrom before he died too. Um, and Timbersaw is pretty close to the Bloodstone. He's, he's getting there. Jakiro's building a mech it looks like, or a pipe. Um, so, uh, Tidehunter, Wind Ranger has her bling. Tidehunter is getting to his plane, and Anti-Mage Battle Fury is done also. So things going good. Things oh, going well for Wraith King has a plane. Yeah, I think so. I think they are playing uh, playing their lineup correctly. They're I just agree. giving uh, Anti-Mage a lot of time to, and a lot of space to farm. Right. 
I, uh, I love seeing the improvement in this game over last game, um, seeing the TP responses, seeing people using the space they're given properly. It's Man, you can see it's making a huge difference here because anti mage is at 120 CS now, and that is huge for him. At 20 minutes, that's really good for, uh, for their team. And so Windranger also building, you know, for staff blink. She's really mobile. She's going to do a lot of, like, slippery damage. anti is just working on his Yasha now. Viper's Aghanim is very close to being finished. He's 50 gold away from finishing his Aghanim Scepter. That'll be really annoying to deal with. Yeah, so I would... Tide almost has his blank. I would like to have had him had it earlier. Um, yeah, I think so. Just because of what their lineup, no one on the on their Dire team can really go into a fight, start a fight. And with the amount of control Pivotal has, it makes it really hard for a Tide Hunter without a blink to kind of get into the center. That's true. I agree. Um, even just one Viper Strike is going to make it impossible for him to like walk up there. Yeah. But uh, on the on the other side, though, there haven't been a whole lot of situations where he's needed to initiate because there haven't been many five v five team fights. I mean, now might be a good time because they're pushing a tower. It's a very risky for it. Very yeah, good canceling. Good that cancel. They definitely that's, that's a walk up. And they did already glyph too, so I think this tower is going to go down here without yeah, the tower's a. Tower's going to fall. Although, oh, how did that shackle miss? That looks silence like silence goes out. Yeah. I didn't know. Ravage I don't followed. think they should be committing here. He's going to pop ravage, but there's not. I don't see a good a good reason to stay. Yeah, see, any mage can't find any room to go in. Yeah. Macrofire misses. Macrofire here. comes out. Wish Doctor's all comes out. Silence is going to fall. Any mage yeah. cleaning up, getting a kill. Jakira should not be walking up in here, but they managed to make it. Uh, well, no, it's not a good trade. It's a bad trade, and it's getting yeah, worse. Viper's chasing. Jakiro's gonna fall. Anti mage is still up, trying to go to the Wraith King. Wraith King okay. successfully ports out. Yeah, Anti mage um, is in trouble still here. Not that safe. Oh, another. He's he actually is gonna die here from the poison. Yeah. So that was a full five man team wipe for a situation that was obviously not one they should have walked up into. They didn't have uh, proper initiation. They didn't have the control. They didn't have. Everybody was at full health. The tower had gone down. Um, there was really no, and after after the the kind of the ravage that they weren't able to follow up on, there wasn't any reason to walk up after. They should have just left, and they would have lived. Yeah, I think they should have just left the tower. It was um, it's really hard because the Shakira wasn't there, and with their lineup, with the ravage initiation, um, Shakira is really the secondary. The right. person with the spells to kind of follow up the initiation, set up a lot of the control, a lot of the just AOE damage to come out. Um, the kill silence was, was a bit too early, there. so yeah. that was really good. So the silence was really early. Too early. That's true. Um, that they were unable to capitalize on that. I mean, honestly, global silence is not the only like their only real good target for global silence here is stop a witch doctor. All it kind of seems because. Timbersaw and Lysa would be okay for a couple seconds without it. Um, so, yeah, they definitely should, I think, in my opinion, they should just save the silence for when Witch Doctor starts ulting. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, especially because this Witch Doctor has been doing a lot of work. Yes, that's true. They did manage to stop it last time. Um, but I think in general, that would be the way to go. Yeah, and then you're right. I think you're right. There's no need to initiate with it. It also makes... That's that particular fight, um, the global silence came out really early, so it kind of warned the radiant side that that never going to go in. That's true. It, yeah, it is kind of like a a big glaring red flag. Mm -hmm. But uh, I mean, silence is also really good for disengaging too, especially with the timber yeah. sauce. Like that's another reason they could have used the silence as a as a okay, let's get out now instead of let's go in. But um, I mean, in the end. I think they're kind of, they're doing okay still. They yeah. are losing so their blink. Li yeah. Okay. So Tide just got his blink. If he had that blink in that fight, it would have been a lot better because I think I part think of the so. problem was he had to set up his positioning, and while he was doing that, he took a lot of damage. And yeah, he got he, got he got a viper strike hit, which was really sucky for him. 
yeah, he did get his Ravage off, which was really good, but um, he was already very low, so he could not stay in the fight, and I don't know if he got that many Anchor Smashes off, but it would have increased his survivability, so... With Tidehunter down, just... Um, Dire team is just so okay. squishy. It looks like they're trying to go on the side hunter up here. They might just be invading the jungle. But yeah, with Ravage on, it's, uh, it's true. Um, another thing is that even with the Ravage, like it was a good Ravage. He hit almost everybody, if not everybody. But there's just no follow up damage here. Like Anti Mage didn't go in, and he shouldn't have because he's not. Re he wasn't ready to fight. And if he had gone in, he would have just been exploded. But uh, I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Wind Ranger somehow missed a shackle, like one I thought was gonna hit pretty well, but it didn't count, and that's a lot of like I don't know. It's hard for them to do damage to the team. I think I feel yeah, like they have so a Jakiro, think, but he though, was too far behind. Yeah, they need the Jakiro to follow up the Ravage. So Global Silence comes out. They're trying to make Damn, something happen. Nothing's gonna happen here either. Um, some space is created, which is nice, but. There's no way that could have turned into a fight. So they're going to leave, and I think that is the right choice. Although um, Anti-Mage here might, uh, oh, man, he might go down. Getting yeah, getting a little bit greedy in enemy jungle after knowing that there are at least three heroes right there uh, and no vision, and they know that Silence is down. So another misplay. It's good to farm, but do it safely, I guess, is the moral there. I think that... I think the Animage really needs a BKB. Smoke coming out for... Oh, so they'll, they'll, they'll smoke into Roche, it looks like. Um, although, Silencer may have a feeling that's happening. No, I guess not. He's getting pinged out, though. What do you think Wind Ranger's building? She has a ton of gold. I think she needs to... I don't know, I think, um... I mean, she's playing, like, core Wind Ranger, right? So she should get, like, an Aghanim's, um, Orchid. I guess yeah, people don't get Orchid as much anymore. MKB, that kind of thing. Yeah, so I that... I think an Aghanim's would be good. I think so, too. That Roshan went down without the other team either realizing, caring, or able to do anything. But if you think about the minute or so of space they got, what did they accomplish with that much time? Um, I don't really feel like they got a lot out of it. If you're going to trade not doing anything about Roshan, then you have to be accomplishing something. Yes, anti is farming, Wind Ranger was farming, but everybody else was just kind of like roaming around in the jungle. Um, it was a good opportunity to put wards down. It was a good opportunity to like... I mean, they should be at least finding the other team. Oh, it looks like bottom, we've got some problems here. Wind Ranger goes down, Ravage is popped, Tidehunter is absolutely going to die here. Jakira should leave. Jakira should definitely leave here. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Stun comes out of that tower, that tower is down, so nobody can TP in and help him here. So that was, there was no reason for that. Um, although I guess space created for Anti Mage here, who's going to continue farming and still pushing this tower. Yeah. So to the space for Anti Mage is really good. Um, what do you think of this getting... twenty-seven minute Midas pickup for support Wraith King? Oh, he sold it. Oh wait, no, it's on the courier. Yeah, uh, that's interesting. Um, I definitely don't think it's the best pick pickup for him. Yeah. It's very odd. That's odd. I mean, definitely support support Midas is not a bad thing, but at 30 minutes, it's going to be hard for him to justify that. I mean, he has his blink, but there are other items he could get, like upgrade his boots maybe, or I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, the only other cool. thing I would think is if Pivotal is thinking of just... Um, Delaying the game. The late game, and then Wraith King transitioning into more of a core. I yeah, that that could make that could be possible. But Wraith King was kind of playing the five before. It would have made sense if he was the four. But if you look at his items, he's really poor. Um, yeah, he has Definitely nineteen really last poor. hits. I don't think he's gonna be able to transition. And if he does, like if you look at their lineup, by the time the he doesn't need to. Yeah. Yeah. By the time the position five Wraith King transitions into a carry, uh, the silencer. And the Wind Ranger are going to be so much more potent already. And like the other, I mean, Life Sealer is kind of a decent carry, but like I don't think they're going to match the carry potential of Team Connell Network at all. So I really hope that's not what he's thinking. I don't agree with this pickup. Yeah, over. I don't agree either. Um, what do you think about the Wind Ranger picking up the Maelstrom? I like it. Um, 
I'm kind of old school when it comes to my core of Wind Ranger builds. Like, I really like the, like, Maelstrom, Aghanim's, Orchid combo more than, like, MKB, I guess, because I like the utility it provides. Um, the attack speed, you don't really need the attack speed, but the Chain Lightning you get is just so good. Um, and because, as you were talking earlier, they have a lot of trouble, like, with their spreading the damage out in a fight, just because the Shakira seems to be lagging behind, he doesn't have mobility. So, I like it. Um, I think definitely she should get an Aghanim's next. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like the Nelson pickup. I don't know why she waited so long to pick it up. They're probably deciding. I thought something was going to happen here at the Secret Shop, but instead, Lifesteal is inside Timbersaw right now. Um, what do you think about a BKB for Wind Ranger? Um, BKB is never, is rarely bad, but I don't know. Viper Strike goes through BKB, and... Oh, we have a fight here going on. Oh, that was a good shackle here. This will do a lot. Ravage is up. Ravage is popped. Macropire is done. This is great. Yeah, Silence is popped too. Um, Tidehunter goes down here. This is a pretty decent fight. That curtain needs to get out. But, okay, so that's the Aegis pop there. Um, Winner just doing a really good job kiting out everybody. That shackle was so close. But these cask bounces are just too Ooh. much. That's the second time that that fight's been ruined because of the cast bounces. So that's a team wipe. That sucks a lot. Yeah, so I think that anti mage really needs to be KB. Um, wow, that's a lot of gold. That's a 3k gold swing right there. Yeah. Anti mage definitely needs to be KB. I'm not sure if a Wind Ranger needs one. Um, she's the cask is annoying, but she's doing a pretty good job of staying around the fight when she where she needs to be, in my opinion. So yeah, she could I get one. Just think, I think even just for timber saws damage. Yeah, that's true. Um, that could be that could be a good point. I'm just I just don't know if how long the game is gonna go and whether or not. Okay, so this is another really just bad. Why I the supports yeah, here are maybe. feeding a second time because they walked up to two cores and a witch doctor without BKBs or escapes at all. And they just died. They didn't even do damage. Which Doctor picks up a Shadow Blade, so he's gonna be really hard to stop. So, surprisingly, though, they defend the Raxus. They do. Which is really good. And but a lot of damage coming out yeah. onto both the Tide and Any Mage. Any Mage is able to blank out successfully. Tide Hunter might Tide go down here again. That yeah, that Timber. So you're right. That Timber Saw's damage from the, his uh, his Shock Room is just so much. The Focus Fire here. Is Killing the uh, timber saw, but he responds immediately, being timber saw. So, or having a 20 charges on his blood stun at the time. Now he's down to 13. But so they, yeah, they defended the Raxes, which was good, and they got a couple of return kills. But overall, that was not uh, ideal at all, um, especially with the Chikira and Silencer. I don't understand. Chikira and Silencer walking up to the timber saw and the Viper, who've both been just kind of decimating the team. For the last 30 minutes, not not the smartest idea. Um, I know you want to defend your axe, but they're yeah, both pretty so. good at doing that from range. So we should have waited a little bit, I think. <laughs> okay, Timbersaw picks up a, a Yules here. He's gonna be like impossible now to stop, and he gets a haste rune. Anti-Mage just finishes Manta though, but so is Viper actually. Anti-Mage just finishing his Manta is a huge deal. If they can get the game to go another 10 or 15 minutes, he's going to be pretty hard to deal with. Um, if they can only delay that long. It, he sees Timbersaw coming here, so hopefully he can get out. Yeah, he won't. I don't think he'll die here, but... Good good, uh, good reaction time there, doing exactly what he should have been doing. Um, I like to see, if you look at the team, they all have TP scrolls on them. Well, except for Wind Ranger. Looks like she's building an Aghanim. She's almost done with it too, actually. But uh, for the most part, having the TP scrolls is pretty good. Yeah. It's... Roche is up in another minute, but they don't know that yet. Uh, That's oh. very interesting. Uh, look at the very secret good. shop. Takira goes down here. Global Silence is wasted. So it's interesting because uh, Radiant Side is actually using sentries to counter the jungle. That's true. That is huge, so, actually. They're really shutting down the farm yeah. potential, I guess. Um, on the anime, yeah. The two most farm heroes in the game, or the most CS heroes in the game, are on Dire, the Wind Ranger, and Anti Mage. Yeah. 
I don't think they can stop this push. Uh, yeah, they need a well. They need a ravage, which they have, and there it is. But where's the follow-up oh. damage? So let's see. Like they're going on the Wraith King. Yeah, yeah damage coming on the Wraith King. Not the best idea. Wraith fall. King's ult is on cooldown though, so. Or no, I'm sorry, I watched it late. Yeah. My friends are getting a triple kill. Wind Ranger trades for the Witch Doctor. Or, Good no, shackle there, saving. saving. Great shackle damages. Yeah. Macro fire comes out. Oh. Ice path comes out. Totally wins. Oh. Uh, they're gonna finish getting the melee racks here and, and back uh, out. Okay, so they managed to um, defend from the game ending there, but that was a little bit rough. Uh, the ravage was great, but once again, it was too early. There was no no way anybody else could follow up. Um, I think Jakiro needs a blink or something in order to really utilize that stun time. It was a great Ravage, but like, the stun time doesn't matter if you don't do anything in the stun period, you know? It's just kind of delaying the inevitable. Yeah, I think focusing the Wraith King is also the wrong choice. I think they need to be killing the Witch Doctor as fast as they can. Yes, I agree, I agree. Definitely the Witch Doctor or the Timber Soft they can, although that's also risky because he's hard to kill. But the killing the Witch Doctor, yeah. like, I mean, or not the Witch Doctor, killing the Wraith King just, it really hurts your team if you can't kill him twice because uh, that slow makes it impossible to do anything. So Definitely. Takiro has not managed to progress on his mech at all, which, or pipe at all, which is bad because now he's kind of stagnating with the headdress, which isn't going to do a whole lot for him. Um, he might, honestly at this point, I would probably just sell it and get a 4 staff. But, or, yeah, he know. needs some mobility. He really, really does. Especially to follow up. And for survivability, too. Yeah. Um, mech is good. If he can finish the mech, then he should absolutely finish the mech. But um, if he's not getting any farm, then there's very little chance of that happening. They're doing an amazing job uh, staying in the game, though, after those pushes. Like, look, if you look so at the map trying, right they're now. They're committing to the slice deal right here. Ice Path hits him. Oh, Witcher all comes out with a silence follow up. It's good. Oh, shooting this the is good. They might be able to kill him. I don't know if Void's up. Mana Void's not up. just chasing the Lice Deal. Lice Deal has his okay, rage. So they're not able to get in there. They're going to get out. Although, the Timber Cell might actually go down here, which would be really good for them. Nope. Uh, now, Anti Mage might die. Maybe yeah. be careful. Wind Ranger is coming also from the side, but Viper is yeah, also. Anti Mage drops. Anti Mage drops. Shack on to the timber saw. Focus fire on the timber saw. No, now, this is uh, I think everything else. Yeah, good ice pass, but I don't think they're gonna get out here. Maledict alone, my killer. Yeah, that's that. So now they'll get this tower. Well, what I was saying was that they were doing a really good job of like after losing racks. Um, of spreading themselves out across the map again and like farming and stuff. They like they pushed all the lanes. It was great, but then that kind of happened. They overcommitted to a kill uh, that they couldn't get, and there was they were they were down here, right? So there's no way anybody could have come and support, saved them. Uh, Winner just showed up way too late and ended up just dying because it's kind of how it goes. She buys back here. Hopefully they can defend. But I don't know. There's another Ravage. That's a good Ravage, Sui. Now there's follow-up, and you can see immediately how much of a yeah. difference it made. Focus the Lifestealer. The Lifestealer falls. They're going to they're gonna go in the Viper. Timbersaw's up really in there, low. though. His, his Ogden Shock Room is, is just wrecking the team. I don't think we have an answer to that. Um, I think this actually might be GG. Because they basically wipe again. With Jakiro the only one up. It was well thought, but they're, at this point, they were just a little bit too behind, I think. Yeah, I think one of the biggest issues is the Tide Hunter not being that make an impact. Yeah, and oh. he, it wasn't really through any fault of his own, although he did get a late blink, so that was kind of bad. Yeah, that's yeah. that's game. I think no one can do anything now. Yeah, and there's yeah, the, the GGs, GGs are coming out. Well, the thing with the Tide Hunter yeah, is he's getting good ravages off, but in this game and their lineup, he needs to be playing a much bigger role than just using his alt. Right, that's true. But it's hard. You know, as a Tide Hunter, it's hard to do that because you're kind of. It is hard. Out. I think what they, I think would have been good is if he had an early blink, and maybe not the early blink was necessary, but when he got blink, pretty much all of their ravages were used for defending. Um, even if they committed to like two people and blew a ravage aggressively to get secure two kills, I think it would have been worth it. Because hmm. um, it's just. I think you're right, um, but I think a lot of that was like. 
So, you know, you're right. They, they, um, they were all defensive. And even though they were all good, they were all defensive. But, like, there weren't... I don't know. I don't know exactly why. Maybe you can tell me. But there were... It felt like there weren't a lot of opportunities for the team after the first, like, 10, 15 minutes for the whole team to go and fight because they were just kind of spread out. They felt like they were always reacting to things and just kind of... They had to, like... Um, Radiant was just so good at poking and prodding and, and just making being annoying all over the map that it was hard for them to like group up together and fight. Instead, they just kind of had to react to like a push here, a gank here, that kind of stuff. Yeah, and with against a timber saw, it's really hard to. Yeah, you're right. Of, you're right. The timber saw is huge on that because he's just everywhere, just killing everybody. Um. So, and I think um. I don't know, definitely tried to with some of their smokes, but none of them really went the way they had hoped. Yeah, those were... they tried, but yeah, you're right. It's just, no one on their team could really, um... kind of just stay in a fight, stay in a fight against the Radiant side. Um, part of it was also, like... So, Wraith King, after a point, realized he wasn't doing anything bottom and started roaming. And there wasn't, like, he helped in a couple places, but it wasn't like, you know, that won them the early game or anything like that, right? It was helpful. But on the other hand, while they were definitely winning top, they were unable to kill the Timber Saw, which, or Dire, while Dire was winning top, they were unable to kill the Timber Saw, even though they definitely won the lane. But I feel like after a certain point, one or both of the support should have started roaming too. Because I know Anti-Mage is a little bit like, you need to babysit him a little bit, but with his blink, if he's good enough, um, and they have enough map awareness and warding and stuff, yeah, yeah, he won't, he shouldn't die. They don't have silences. They only have, like, they only had uh, the Raid King stun and the cask. So I think that at some point, especially the Shakira should have probably roamed a little bit. Yeah, I think the, yeah. There should have been more roaming, um, and they left the Viper alone the entire game, which was obviously very bad. Yeah, if the if the Jakiro ever went mid, they probably would have been able to set up a kill on the Viper. Right. Considering the Wind Ranger was doing a really good job. Yeah, the Wind Ranger was really farmed, um, and yeah, definitely. But uh, hopefully, they can work some of the stuff out in the next game. They can do. Uh, they can come back. Yeah. So it is a so, best of three. So they are zero and one now. Um, that's all I know about the bracket. But yeah. So we'll see how things go in the second game. Hopefully, things will go much better for Cuddle Network. Right. I don't know how long we... So wait. I'm gonna cut the stream here.